Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Ranges Mask Node. And if you guys have been enjoying these uh, videos, be sure to subscribe so we can build our community up and uh, mark that notification bell because we've got some good stuff coming out. Other than just these daily nodes, we've got some nice uh, VFX training videos coming out soon. So you'll want to watch those. So jumping in the Ranges Mass node. The Ranges Mass node, if you hit shift space and Ranges, is pretty much like the Bitmap Mask node. Not as robust as it, but it does kind of the same thing. And uh, we're going to input some footage here, and it does have a footage input right here. It's got an output, and it's got an effects mask input. Now, what this node does is it creates mass based off your spline selection within one of your three ranges, meaning your shadows, midtones, and highlights. And using this spline selection, you can get your mask. Now, on the node itself, uh, we've got show view controls, and that's just these view controls right here. You can move your footage around if you need to, and recenter it down here. I'm going to shut those off. You've got your overall level of your your mask. You've got the same filters and soft edge you do on uh, all of the mask nodes. Your uh, fit input is for if your footage is smaller or bigger, you can crop it, stretch it, change your width, have it outside so to fit your footage correctly. And then this ranges node is where you pick how the node is processing, whether it's shadows, midtones or highlights and then within those ranges you can pick what channel and on this node we've got luminance rgb and a and down here is kind of your spline base editor so you can edit your uh, mask to capture what you want to capture now i said this is only shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can, just like all other nodes, if you need to input one, you can go from the output to the mask input. And on our new node, we have these new paint modes. And you can add, subtract, do whatever uh, operation you need to on these nodes. So if you throw a new one in, you can pick your midtones instead. So it is compounding those two just based off the, uh, the operation we pick. So that is an option. So using this node and uh, what you would use it for, well, basically anything you need to pull a mask based off luminance within your shadow midtones and highlights. So there's no one specific reason you would use this. Um, but for instance, we'll say this footage, we uh, we don't like these shadows. They're pretty crushed in here. So we, we want to bring these shadows up. Now you could simply bring in a uh, color corrector and you could pick your shadows, but that's picking more than your sat shadows. So let's see if I go crazy on, on our saturation or our hue is changing a lot more than just our shadows. These bags shouldn't be changing within our shadows because we just want these down here that are really, really baked in. So what you could do is we could go on a ranges node and we can select shadows and we'll leave it on luminance. And down here you've got simple or smooth. And this just depends on how the information is getting pulled. So we're gonna go to simple. And we can really crush these uh this information down and kind of just get those those shadows going. Now we're gonna start losing too much shadow information if we keep going down. So what we could do is we can add another ranges node like we did before and input our footage. Let's look at this one over here. 
and again pick our shadows pick our luminance and we are going to multiply this and we can take these and kind of crush them down a little more just to make those uh, a little softer because this is a little too harsh over here so now we're, we're kind of just pulling a little less data and just digging into those shadows this up a little and you know what let's go ahead and go simple so we can uh, really see what we're doing here let's just crush those shadows down and there we go so we can take this mask now and, and put it into our color correct if we go over here now, if I just like go kind of crazy with a gamma, you can see it's only affecting those shadows right there. So we can dig in here and uh, do any lifting we need to do just within those shadows. So that's how that would work. And you could also do things like uh, say we want to get rid of this. So you want to add kind of a, a look to this footage, we could um, just select our highlights and let's bring our highlights up. Kind of crush them down a little bit. out and with an emerge node we can just uh, screen this go to our ranges soften it up a little bit bring that down so now we've kind of created a look for our footage to go from this this kind of soft washed out look so that is your ranges mask node i will see you in the next episode